Um, hi guys, I just wanted to get this while it's fresh and raw. It's not like super convenient for me to do this video right now. I look like crap. Um, we went to Aftershock last night and I took my 17 year old daughter. So we got to see Metallica, Rancid, Volbeat. Um, see there was really good. I got to get a little piece of suicidal tendencies and we missed Dropkick Murphys, but it's okay. Metallica was rad. Volbeat was sick. Rancid was sick. Seether was sick. They were all good. And, like, we got good spots. And, like, the whole time, like, we were not that far away from the stage. So, yeah, it was kind of cool. Nice little bonding time with my daughter. Um... Okay, and also we found a VIP pass and got to get in, like, the VIP area for Metallica. And that was sick. Like, Metallica was so good. Okay, anyways. <sighs> okay. So, anyways, I was, like, toward the end of the night, I wasn't feeling good because I went down to nine milligrams um on Tuesday and today is Saturday so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday was the show and then um today is Saturday so I don't really feel that good right now and I was feeling it last night but I was just so involved with what I was doing that I like kind of ignored it or like fought through it I didn't make it like my main focus um but it was really painful when we were walking out of there out of the concert and then we had to wait for an uber and then we went to this place to eat and I couldn't stay awake on the way home and I felt bad because my boyfriend was driving and I kept waking up and like looking at him and asking him if he was okay and because I was, like, worried he was nodding off, but I don't think he was. I mean, not nodding off, but, like, you know, he was tired. Um, so today I took my 9 milligrams. I'm kind of just chilling in bed. I'm drinking some coffee. And, uh, I am going to go to the gym today. <laughs> my makeup is so bad. I'm sorry. I look like crap. Okay. Um, and my hair's turning red again. Like, I dyed it dark, and now it's turning red again. That's what red does. It doesn't come out. <laughs> um, but I think I'm supposed to be a redhead. Naturally. <laughs> the universe just, like, messed up on that one. Um, and so, I am gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna do yoga and roll out with my little roller ball. I mean, my roller, um, cylinder, um, I roll out really good, stretch really good, take my time, and then I'll go to the gym. I'm gonna take some C4, obviously, um, not a whole scoop, I'll probably just take, like, half a scoop of C4, um, it's pre-workout, and, you know, I drink a crap ton of water, um, and I'll do, like, you know, I'm going to warm up on the treadmill today. And then I'll go do some back. And I'll go do some shoulders. And I'll do, like, I'm not going to do the glutes. And I'm not going to do my quads and my legs right now. Because I don't want to, like, have to allocate energy and, you know, to that right now. Because when I do legs, I don't mess around and, um, see? <laughs> I don't mess around. <laughs> I got a goal, um, and I, I just, your body has to put so much towards healing those muscles because they're big muscles. Um, you can wear yourself out on your chest and your back too, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of hit each muscle group. 
some in my chest, shoulders, back, maybe my abs. I'm just going to hit all those groups just kind of like lightly. I'm not going to overdo it because I know tonight I'm going to feel like crap. And I'll probably wake up in, in the night from like sweating and stuff, I bet, from the detox. Um, one milligram from 10 to 9. But as you go down, it's a larger percentage of your overall, like of everything you're taking you know, you go down one milligram at 20 milligrams, that's 5% or whatever, or yeah, something like that. And then you go down one milligram from 10 milligrams, well, that's 10%. Um, one milligram, say you're at five milligrams, you go down one milligram to four, that's 25% or 20%. Of your overall, so what your body has to do to like, you know, it's, it's harder and harder. It actually gets harder and harder as you go down, which is insane. I just feel like that's not really the most ideal way for a medicine to work. Like, I imagine in like 20 years, 10 years, I don't freaking know. You're going to come up with some medicine that's just so much easier than this or something. Like, I don't know. But that's how addiction works. And that's how, you know, being, you know, your tolerancy works. So, anyways, yeah, I don't feel that good. But I will say this. Like, the one thing I noticed different about me since I've taken this journey so slow to get down off of methadone. Um, it's not as, like, harsh. It's not as bad. Like, I wouldn't have been able to, like, even have a good time at a concert before. Like, if I was a little bit detox or feeling dope sick or, you know, going down off something. Like, I wouldn't be able to even focus on that. I wouldn't want to be there. Um, so that's what's telling me, like, my mind is starting to, like, change and I think it has a lot to do with exercise, an extreme a lot to do with exercise. Um, wow, it's just insane. Like, if you really commit to your body, that's all it is. It's like really committing to your body and really taking care of yourself. It's not as hard. You know, you get into these routines of things that you do of self-care and like your diet in the morning when you eat and all that stuff and your body gets on like this routine and each thing you do for yourself is like a stepping stone so like say you're you're going down right on detox or whatever and feeling like crap well I have this next thing to do that I normally do for myself so I'm gonna do that and then you know you focus on that and that you let that get you to the next to the next moment, right? I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Um, you know, um, it's been a trippy journey. Like, honestly, um, I don't want to make this video too long, but, um, yeah, if you're trying to get off meth down, you can do it. Start investing in yourself and doing your self-care and doing positive things for yourself. And it's like super cliche to say like, just think positive. You know, that's annoying, but you have to tell yourself positive things. You have to find the good in shitty situations um, and focus on that until you can get through to the next where you're trying to go if that makes sense okay so um i'll give you guys another update and i don't know oh my god my hair is growing out again you could tell and it looks all red and what the heck's going on i think it's just changing on its own at this point <laughs> it's going gray um yeah so i love you guys we'll see you in the next one and namaste y'all